hey guys welcome to my channel hope you guys are all doing really good um pretty much this is all you're gonna see is my <laughs> my hands because i am in my pjs and this is just a nail tutorial that i want to show you guys um and yeah um i hope you guys are doing the best that you can in the circumstances that we are at home and you're keeping yourself busy occupied trying to stay um, away from the news as much as you can knowing what's going on but you know kind of limit that um, because I know it can drive anyone crazy if it's driving me crazy I'm sure it's driving a lot of people crazy but I'm trying to do my best to limit myself from all the news and you know the amount of news that I'm intaking because I do have major anxiety and I don't want to add more anxiety to my life and um, as you can tell my nails I've been even picking on them um, this is just one week old and my nails never look this beat up after one week I've been chipping on the nail polish and I figured this is the perfect time for me to film a nail tutorial um, I've been doing my nails for a very very long time I mean I'm going back before I even went to cosmetology school when I was uh, maybe like my in my late teens is when I started going to the salon to do my nails um, and back in the days all we did was acrylics you know dip um, powder wasn't around and all this other stuff that I've actually learned wasn't around and when I was in my 20s I said you know what I'm gonna buy this stuff and just do it myself because I didn't make a lot of money I couldn't afford to go to the nail salon and get my nails done so I remember buying this stuff like at Walmart where the stuff was terrible the machine was terrible but I mean I still managed I still managed to do my nails myself and as I was able to get my hands on better equipment and better things I started doing my nails and I have been doing my nails for that long guys I swear I only go to the nail salon to do my pedicure and sometimes I even do that myself but I've been doing my nails for as long as I can remember and I now do them you know I change my polish every week but I do fills um, I think acrylics is the one thing I I just always go back to I always go back to acrylics I have been doing so many different nail um, you know formulas like uh, poly gel which is something that's really cool and unique and I think that you guys would actually love poly gel um, when I used to do poly gel I used to get a lot of compliments and people were like what kind of nails are those because it's almost like see-through even if it's pink or if it's you know whatever color they're almost like clear and transparent and super super cool and um, it's just visually it's really nice very nice nails but it's very hard to remove they don't come off easy they're very hard to melt and um, the maintenance isn't bad with poly gel but my tutorial today is going to be on acrylics because that's what I'm good at and that's what I do um, but I will tell you what poly gel is if you guys don't know what it is so here are my very old hands <laughs> my very very old 44 year old hands um i try to do my best to moisturize right now they look greasy because i moisturize them i use this as my moisturizer i love this stuff i don't really use um i i have a lot of moisturizers but this is the always the one that i go to when it comes to just a good ham hydrating cream especially with the amount of hand washing um, disinfectant that we're using now a days with our hands our hands are beat up I don't know about you guys but my acrylics I mean my cuticles are destroyed 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 I've been chewing on them because they've been dry so um, this I'm not kidding guys this is like the but this is better than any nail cream that I have ever tried this keel stuff is amazing if you suffer from dry skin in your body or like your uh, your your uh, nails your cuticles this stuff I am telling you right now you guys I don't care if you go by the store and just get yourself a sample try this on your very dry hands and God love this stuff and now especially since we're dealing with the dryness in our hands from hand washing the best cream that you guys can use I'm not kidding so yeah my hands were very very dry before I turned the camera on and I soaked them in the cream and that's why they look nice and shiny before I remove my nail polish, I just want to go through everything and all the tools and everything that you're going to need. Let me see if I can 
bring my camera out a little bit. Okay, because I'm going to bring my box with all the things that I use. And I'm going to show you guys everything I use. Okay, so here we go. So this is all my tools. This is everything I use. I'm going to go through everything. Um, you're going to need a set of nails. Okay, so let me set the box aside and bring things one by one and show you. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously a set of nails. You can pick this up. Everything that I'm going to mention to you guys today, you can pick this up at Amazon. None of this stuff requires you going to the store, which is cool because you don't want to leave your house if you're in quarantine, you know, if you're isolating yourself from the world like I am. Um, you can buy all the stuff that I am mentioning on Amazon and I am going to put all the links to all these things if it's not the exact thing very similar to it down below in the description so the first thing you're going to need is a little you don't have to get this whole box I mean because I've been doing my nails for so long I have it but you can buy just one set of nails and this stuff is all really inexpensive you guys I'm telling you right now you can buy products to do your nails that will last you for an entire year of the cost that you're gonna do two trips to the nail salon. I'm not kidding. Like, let's say you do two full sets of nail. What are full sets are like, what, um, 45 maybe nowadays? I don't even know, because I honestly don't do my nails at the salon. Imagine all the money that you're saving by doing your own nails. And one thing I do wanna mention to you guys is you don't become a perfectionist and your first try it takes a couple tries it really does I mean it, it could take you months it could take you a year but I promise you that the more you do your nails the better you get at it and the you become a pro like you don't need to go to the nail salon so this is a set of nails they're all numbered and you just size them basic you know extensions you don't have to do extensions if you have long nails or if you just want to put acrylic like an overlay you can do that too but these are your basic extensions okay there's no nothing special it's not clear it's just the basic extensions is what i do because i always paint my nails so you get a set like this okay that's the only thing that's the first thing you'll need and obviously any nail glue is another thing that you will need um i just bought this nail glue i think at the um at the drugstore but you can buy any nail glue it doesn't really matter um that okay so here are the things that you're gonna need i'm gonna show you the first thing now this machine <laughs> is very old and very junky so let me show you guys my nail drill this is the one that is on amazon right now that's rated the top seller it's not expensive it's under 20 bucks guys this is the melody susie this one is rated the best you know what do they call it um best seller i guess on amazon um i only had this for like a month and then it was acting funny on me so i don't know but maybe it's just me i don't know why or maybe i should just try to play with it more and see why because it's acting a little different from the time that i got it and i first tried it so these machines aren't really that reliable but luckily they're so inexpensive that you can just replace them so this is the one that's like the top seller right now on amazon again it's under 20 bucks you obviously plug it to the wall and right here you have the setting this is a little um control the little speed control the little knob and you can raise it to go faster or lower on and off this one i bought um because i am a cosmetologist i i have i i'm able to go to this nail um it's a, a nail distributor not far from where i live well i'm about a good 20 minutes away and i'm able to go and buy supplies there but you're only allowed to shop there if you have you know a um a nail salon so i do get a lot of my stuff there sometimes when i want to see things in person this one i bought there this is um portable obviously it has the cord with the charger but this one died on me and this one was more expensive so again i don't use it anymore <laughs> this is my old and beat up and junked up and it makes like a loud sound <laughs> nail drill but you guys this is the one that i've had before these two and this one I still have and I always go back to and it works. It hasn't died on me. So 
This one, I will try to see if I can find it on Amazon and list it down below. But again, don't get overworked on what machine you're buying. Just get one that's rated good and buy it. Because again, if worse comes to worse, you can just replace it. It's not a big deal. But maybe it was just mine and um, maybe you can get lucky and just get one that's going to last you a long time. But this is the one that I use right now. So this is my nail drill. Now, you have, um, you have these little... Um, these are the the sandpaper um, the they're like bondi sand you can attach this to the end depending on the strength I don't recommend you using the strong strength for the first time use a softy band that's a little bit more gentle on your nails if you're a first-time user and if you're a first-time user I definitely recommend for you to guide for you guys to have this on very low speed because it's so easy to nick yourself and get your your skin um, being that I've been doing this for a very long time I've noticed that I can only do it on myself but when I do it on someone else I feel like I'm always hurting them so you have to really be careful um, practice on yourself and just remember to do it on a low speed so you don't hurt yourself until you get used to it so these are my Bondi sands they're very replaceable and as they wear off you replace them now here is my acrylic which is called monomer and polymer your acrylic powder. I love the brand Mia Secret. It's a really good brand. And obviously, if you've gotten your nails done, you're familiar with all this stuff. The liquid and the powder. The other thing you're going to need is um, you can use a nail prep. Again, I like this brand. I will mention all this stuff down below. This is the Mia Secrets. This is the nail prep pH balance. This, is, this acts like a nail dehydration. Um... If your nails, you're going to need this before you prep your nails. This is what's going to dry the surface. Unfortunately, you have to dry the surface of your natural nail for you to start the work because you need um, a dry base before you go into your acrylic and powder because that is how it's going to last. Your actual natural nail has to be dried, has to be filed down. And this is a nail dryer. So you could use this as opposed to acetone to dry your nail. Um, you and I will show you the steps on when to use what this is the nail primer this is the pa this is the liquid that you put in the cuticle area that you need to use so that there is no lifting of the nails I love this because it does not sting and it's not harmful and here are is, is all my basic stuff I have nail files I have nail buffers and you have to, guys, I know these are like a hot commodity right now, but you have to wear a face mask and you have to have open windows. You do not want to inhale this stuff. This stuff is very strong. You want to make sure that you're doing your nails in a very open space and not somewhere where you're like your bathroom or something. You want to make sure you're in an open space, especially near a window is the ideal place with the windows open so that the product doesn't consume you like as far as you know breathing this stuff in can be very hard harsh for you so i always wear my face mask and i always do it right here by my window with my window open and these are just my basic tools you know i have a little powder brush to dust off you know the powder nail clippers um cuticle clippers uh, cuticle pusher and you know always make sure that you spray all this stuff with alcohol and you disinfect everything which I always do I always have a little bottle of alcohol here with me to disinfect all my products you also want to have little things like this little jars because you need a place to put your powder and your liquid I usually put my powder in here and I usually just put my liquid in here so you want to make sure you have I like glass jars um, so you want to make sure you have something like this so that you can put one is your powder and one is your liquid and I'm going to show you when I get started. And last but not least, this is a very important part, your brush. So this is a brush that I use. Some beauticians use a different, some nail technicians use a different brush where the brush is actually thicker. And when the brush here is thicker, I think it's just harder to control. I mean, they're the experts. They're the professionals. They can do this without, you know, with their eyes closed. I like a brush that's a little bit smaller because it allows me to control. I like the corners because I can do some 
you know, edges, which again, I'm going to show you guys. I want to say this is a number 10 brush. Both of these are number 10 and that is the number that I like to use because I am able to control my pearl and I'll explain to you guys what a pearl is. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take off my nail polish and we're going to get started. Okay, so obviously they look really dry and they have like this yellowish undertone, which is pretty normal because the acrylic, um, because of the nail polish, after a while, the nail polish turns the acrylic kind of like that yellow undertone. And if you've done your nails before, you know what I'm talking about. So don't be alarmed. It's not your natural nail that is got this uh, kind of like a yellowish undertone. This is just alcohol that I'm doing. Again, this is the reason why I love that Kiehl's cream because my nails do get really, really, really dry from doing this and that Kiehl's cream really hydrates them. So that's the thing I do is I put a lot of alcohol, but so now we're gonna first start on the drilling part. Now, don't be alarmed, you're gonna get a, like a huge mess too. So this is something that you wanna make sure you're in an area where you know, it's going to get messy. The powder does go everywhere, but that's very normal. Um, I do want to invest in this little machine that sucks the powder as you're doing your nails because, my goodness, I need it. If you don't have that machine, I just want to let you know it does get messy. So, my setting is not really loud. Um, so, basically, I start in the cuticle area. Let me put my mask on because you don't want to inhale this powder. You definitely want to have a mask on. And these masks, you guys, obviously, they're, you, you won't be able to find them nowadays, but you can put a scarf um, over you. Just use anything that you can to um, create, you know, a barrier between, you know, in front of your nose and your mouth because you don't want to inhale this powder. So you, you want to wear um, um, something to protect you, like a scarf or something. Um, I just get this at my kid's doctor's office before this all happened um, by the entrance there's like a set of, of these masks and I just collected them because I do my nails but um, yeah you want to protect your face from the smell and the powder And I want to let you know that I get very close to my cuticle. Um, but again, because I've been doing this for so long, I want you to be careful because it's very easy to nick yourself and bleed. But once you get used to it, you'll see that you become better at it. And um, like right now, if I go like that, it doesn't hurt. But if you keep it there for a long time, it will. Obviously, you'll cut yourself. So you want to do the cuticle as close as possible as you can, like I'm doing here, going around, having your pinky um, resting on, you know, your thumb, just like I am right now, where you're holding it. I mean, if you're into makeup and stuff like that, it's very similar to like what you're doing your brow or a very um, precise area of the face where you want to um, support your pinky and then, you know, use the drill to, you know, um, to buff the areas out. And my nails grow so, so fast. I can't even tell you how many times. I keep this in a short, short nails and before you know it, they're long again. So I'm gonna definitely drill them down once I'm done.
experiencing a little bit of lifting here on my pointer and that's because I've been picking up my nails so when you do see a lift you want to grab it with your nail your cuticle cutter and then you know take it off like they do in the salon because you don't want any um, air trapped underneath you want to make sure that you remove the lift and then drill and then you can always put new acrylic on that At the end, just buff everything down here on the bottom, um, especially after I do my fillings because if there's any acrylic in there, you want to make sure it's buffed out. So obviously when you start your nails, most of you aren't going to have anything on your nails. Like you don't, you're not going to have the extensions on. So let me show you. I, I you know, I, I'm not due for a full set. Um, I rarely do full sets because my nail actually grows out. Um, but if you are doing a new set of nails, I just want to give you an example as to where you want to attach the nail tip nail extension this is what you call the nail extension so let's say this is your natural nail you want to do the nail extension at the very very tip okay you want to leave most of your nail exposed so that's the part that the acrylic goes on so you want to attach the artificial nail to the very tip the smile line this is what you call the smile so you want to do it right there on the smile line you don't want to go any further up. You want most of your nail exposed. And when you have that nail tip on, you're going to want to, once the glue is there, again, we're pretending, you're just going to want to buff. So let's say this nail is attached. You just want to buff the smile line so that there's no hard edges. You want it to be nice and smooth. So you just grab your drill and you just buff the smile line making sure that the smile line you don't feel any texture you want to make it smooth you want to get your nail bond so the nail dehydrator you did first before you attached your artificial nail you want to do this on your entire nail but I don't have to do that because I have acrylic on there so I don't have to dehydrate de dehydrate that because I've already buffed my nail down now I go straight into the um, the primer this is the acrylic primer so what I do I like to do one hand at a time I do this hand and then I do the acrylics and re the, the fillings and then I do the other hand so first I do let me prepare my product. To prep, I put a tissue down because you want your acrylic to fall out, to be to fall on a tissue. You don't want it to fall on the towel. So you've got the liquid and you've got the powder. So put the powder in here. And you put the liquid in here. See, I'm only putting it in the cuticle area. And this primer is acid free, so it does not sting at all. Sometimes the ones in the nail salon do sting, but this one is non-toxic. So now we're gonna do our pearl. And 
my pearl is in a different shape it's not a perfect circle but that's okay as long as I know how to apply my acrylic I wet my brush I like to grab my pearl looking like that I place and you gotta work fast because this does dry push it back I like it far back because I like my nails to last <laughs> and there you go I did my first refill let me bring you guys in closer see once it's all drenched see I'm working with little bits, bits at a time little pieces at a time Too much on that one so what I do is I clean it and then I just flatten it I grab like a little pearl and you see how it's getting wet now you place it right away but you gotta work fast again because it can dry fast meaning you have to place it down fast and blend down because sometimes the powder does dry fast and some of these uh, clips that are fast forward i'm just gonna do a voiceover to explain what's going on because this video will be super, super long if I didn't sped it up. Anyways, you see these little areas and corners that were lifted? That's why I kind of like to use the number 10 brush because I'm able to really get those precise corners right here in this little area. So um, now that I'm done with the fillings, I'm cleaning out my jar, cleaning everything with alcohol, cleaning my brush, maintaining everything clean, um, making sure that everything is free of the powder, and later on I'm gonna use this cup again to fill it up with some acetone but right now I'm just cleaning up all my tools now I'm basically going to file down everything so since I have a new set of fillings I am just grabbing my nail file and I'm filing out all the edges making sure it has no acrylic on the edges and now here's my drill I'm using my sanding band um, to pretty much just sand everything down getting the cuticle area but not too much in the cuticle area area you don't want to file down the actual filling that you just did so right now I'm just buffing everything out making sure I have a nice flush area so that when the polish goes on it's nice and smooth and I'm just sanding everything down making everything nice and buffed and smooth I'm also getting all the edges on the side the corners I'm even bringing my drill down underneath like you see right there underneath because you know sometimes the acrylic does fall out on the edge and it makes like that extra clump of acrylic on the side so that's what's good about the nail filer and the drill you can actually buff everything down and sand everything down so this is just very basic I mean you're just buffing you're just drilling making sure everything is nice and smooth to the touch Here I'm using the black sandy band. This sanding down band in black is cr pretty much acts like a buffer, like your regular buffing um, nail filer um, so that you don't have any ridges on your nails. So it's very smooth to the touch. And I always like to go back over all the nails with this black um, band because again, it acts just like a smoother so that when you do use and put polish on, it's nice and flat. 
this is basically the same thing it's a buffer so you always want to buff them at the end making sure all the edges are nice and smooth to the touch now I'm applying my cuticle oil and kind of just rubbing all the oil into the cuticle massaging everything in and trying to bring back the hydration back to my hands but um, I'm also putting a little bit of cream as well, the cream, the Kiehl's cream. But once I am done with everything, I have to go back and put a little bit of acetone just on each nail. Uh, you don't want to put nail polish and paint your nails with cuticle oil on the actual nails. So you do have to go back and clean it up with acetone. This nail dryer, I swear guys, I have mentioned it in one of my previous videos. I've had this thing for over 10 years. I remember exactly where I was living when I bought it. This nail dryer has lasted me so long. It's an LED Sensational Pro 3060 LED lamp. Um, it dries nail polish and gel polish. And I'm telling you right now, I don't even think they make this anymore. They've remodeled it. But, you know, uh, why buy the new one if my old one still works? Now I'm just preparing to polish my nails. So everything from here on is pretty much very basic. I'm just polishing my nails. I do like a very sloppy job because... <laughs> I had probably two cups of coffee here and I clean it up with the acetone and another brush. Um, you can see here that I'm cleaning out the edges because I like my edges really nice and clean because again I do a very sloppy job at applying nail polish. now I'm just drying my nails and this LED lamp is a um, minute long so once the minute is over it turns off if you need to dry them a little bit longer you just turn it back on now I'm just drying my nails the nail polish I did two coats and after the two coats I go back and I use my Essie uh, gel setter which is a clear nail polish um, this OPI gel set these are just different gel polishes I just want to show you guys that I use the Kiera Sky this is awesome this is a no wipe top gel coat so this is gonna act like a gel top coat to your actual regular nail polish which you can achieve a gel like finish on top of your regular nail polish but right now I'm just using a regular clear nail polish because I like to change my nail polishes every week so I am just doing a basic clear polish and that's it guys it's all done here is my set of filled in acrylic nails and polished i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i taught you a lot everything you need and how to do your own at home acrylic nails i hope to see you guys in my next video don't forget to share subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one thank you guys so much for watching